to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Look at you, little Lucky Lou, <laughs> toiling with your hair. Yeah, I'm basically a businesswoman. You look nice. I look like a piece of garbage, a piece of Business human trash. As usual. Uh, yeah. Just like to stay on brand. What's going well, on? Well, look, Javes. What's happening? I'm a, I'm a man who does things. What is going with his on hands, with you? With his feet, <laughs> with his legs, and with his arms. I also use a lot of calves and a lot of wrists. That's what kind of man I am. No, I don't. I, look, a t-shirt felt nice today uh-huh. because it is hotter than the face of the goddamn sun here still. Heat advisory. <laughs> what? My, my God, man. <laughs> Heat advisory in just, October. Just walking through it. Yeah. Um, if I stood up right now, full nude. Full nude underneath this, uh, this gear right here. Yeah. And I do hate talking about the weather. And that's why sometimes I annoy, I'm annoyed that I live here. Because it is a constant, it's a constant conversation it that is. you have to until, have with people. By the way, until next week. I, I saw it was going to be I guess, but uh, then it'll be like, okay, aren't you happy? Yeah. Aren't you happy? It'll, Could, be, a, it'll be a nice high of 69, though, Friday, Jace. Cold enough for you? Yeah. Right? It's always a nice thing, isn't it? Gosh, that happened quick. I'm missing summer already. I'm just going to get it all out of the way. Go ahead. Every, every pumpkin, phrase. <laughs> pumpkin spice already? Yeah. It's 90 degrees. Fire away. Keep going. <laughs> every Pinterest quote there yeah. is. No, just every, every person that you encounter on the street. Yeah. I have to have this conversation every time. As a mom? Well, I don't have that conversation. A late, just a lady out in these streets. I'm yeah. just a gal on the go. I don't okay, have to have so these I conversations. Run. Mine is like, hey, nice truck. Right. That's you, rad. You spend your time in a studio with the closed doors and then uh, Planet Fitness. That's it. So you encounter a different type of person. I'm I not going to say any more than that. about eight people a day. Sure. And usually the one comment I make is, are those Mickey Thompson mutters? Right. And that's about it. That's about all I, I can contribute to someone's conversation and that's it i plug in i listen to whatever fucking dmx rap list is on uh apple music whatever, and then i move on about my day whatever taylor swift just came out with and then i see you jabes <laughs> and it makes it all better oh we watched a rad movie last night i want to give uh, some props out because we always shit that there's not enough comedies and then boom they drop between two ferns on netflix and i was skeptical same here i was like how do you turn this into a movie it turns out they just put a bunch of between two ferns sketches and then made a movie around it. Yeah, and then just let Zach Galifianakis and Will Ferrell do some weird improv Be awesome. in between, and it was great. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. And I was, I was really surprised by that. Yeah. When you open up hard with that McConaughey scene like that, <sighs> it died. They killed McConaughey. Yeah, they did. They, they, they killed Matthew McConaughey in that. The jokes are so good. He's good. So the one lines that he, it's, it's just so good. Yeah. That you can watch that all day. And the beauty of it is as an actor, you don't, you don't have to memorize any of that shit because he's just reading off a card. Oh, yeah. They shot that movie in probably. I'm sure. Eight days, like 10 days, whatever it was. It was amazing. Speaking of shooting movies in record time, Clint Eastwood is not here for your bullshit. He's 89 years Mine? old. Yours, anybody I've else's. I've never met him. Look, he sees an empty chair, he throws the empty chair. Oh, boy. Doesn't give a shit about anything except for making movies in under 28 days, dropping Oscar hits, getting people together, and uh, look, this last one, fuck, this tore my weenus off this morning. What was that last little kind of racist one he did? Was it El Camino, El Dan? Camino, yeah, yeah, yeah. El Camino was the or one. El El, it was it El Camino? I, I think it was El Camino. It was El Camino, and, and, and he just, yeah. yeah but can't hear you off camera. Gran Dan. Torino. I'm sorry. There it, it was, is. Whatever. It was an El Camino, El Camino but that is was actually a fun the title little of racist the new, thing, uh, huh? Breaking Bad movie. Okay, that's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That was a fun little racist movie. Well, it was against Asians, and I think we can all kind of get behind that. So it's like. James, you said that a lot on this show. We probably should Ugh. ease up on it, you know? But yes, uh, he went after the it's Asians. Really uh, you're, I, it is hot, Javes. 
It is because we're in the middle of a goddamn scorching Seceed summer. Seed advisory. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep talking. I'm going to figure out my life over here. What's going on over there? It's why, hot. Why that's all. Th- why are you this hot every day? I don't know. Something's wrong with me. I do have a really high internal temp. Yeah. A core temperature that's higher, th- I think, than normal. Probably 98.7, right? About a tenth of a degree higher. You think it's makes one, all the only difference. One degree? Yeah, I think it's I think it's one tenth higher, hmm. and that makes all the difference. No, but speaking of of Clint Eastwood, he drops the Richard Jewell movie. Um, I, he just got on this in April. There's a trailer out today in October, and this movie's coming out in December. Well, he gets it made so quickly because he only gives people what like two takes. Mm, two takes. Two takes is it? You, you get two on. takes. You either get it or you don't. Yeah. And then you're, so you're that, out of there. He hires the best actors. He doesn't hold their hand. And he says, look, you know what the characters are. You can read the goddamn script for yourself. I hired you because you're the best. Now do your fucking job. Right. And don't bother me. And he's in and out in eight hours. Everybody that works for him has worked for him forever. And they're like, dude, I'm never leaving this. Because usually you're there 12, 14 hours a day. Um, to get out of there in eight is a Christmas miracle every day. Sure. You have to know exactly what you want to shoot and why. And uh, then you're done with it. They did shoot it at the, um, the actual um, Centennial Park. And they fucking exploded a bomb, too. Freaked everybody out in Atlanta. Jesus. Yeah, they gave him a warning. They were like, hey, man, Eastwood's here. He's dropping a bomb tomorrow. And they put it on the news. So if you hear an explosion in Centennial Park, just know Eastwood's doing the Richard Jewell movie. <laughs> Still, there's a bunch of dumb dumbs that called in. I heard, I heard something. You know what you heard? An 89-year-old who doesn't, is not here for you your heard bullshit. heard a fucking Oscar being. Yeah. You heard a fucking eagle being born out of the ground. It's probably right. what you heard. Right. Because Eastwood is not here for your bullshit. He's got a movie to shoot. I bet you they, they put that, that tech guy, that pirate tech guy, one shot. That was it. He probably had it laced up, and he was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Probably took Eastwood 30 minutes to shoot that bomb scene. You know? I love it. It was supposed to be Jonah Hill, by the way. So if you're, if you're watching the trailer this morning and you're like, hey, man, I heard of this project. It's been going on for years at this point. DiCaprio had it at his production company. And when they did Wolf of Wall Street and him and uh, Jonah Hill became beef fries on it, it was mm-hmm. like, hey, man, I think it would be awesome if you did the, the Richard Jewell movie. Right. And he was in. And then two and a half years of kind of dicking around with his project, um, it was then turned over to the director of that OJ doc that won the Oscar. Okay. That 10 part series. Right. And he was going to do it. Something happened there and he fell out. And then I was looking online at why Jonah Hill didn't do it. There's a rumor that he just lost too much weight and didn't want to put the weight back on. I mean, I get it. But what's an Oscar worth to you? Yeah. Christian he, Bale? He'd be 4,000 pounds by tomorrow afternoon absolutely. for a role. Absolutely. You could, you could back him up to play the. He could have played Dumbo. He'll gain 100 pounds t- by tomorrow. Yeah. That Tim Burton movie, you could have played fucking amateurs. Dumbo, yeah. Exactly. Bullshit. So when I saw it, I was like, ah, just didn't want the Oscar, I guess. I guess so. Well, it's going to go to this guy. And the guy they cast. He gets unhealthy fat, though. Who? <laughs> like, Jonah Hill is not that guy that's like, gains weight and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, I think he knew that it was just going to be the end. But do you want the Oscar? Yeah, I the, the Academy posthumous. Award goes to. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Because he died. Yeah. Because yeah, he died. Mm-hmm. Um, last person who died who got one was, I think, Heath Ledger. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to see the Joker tomorrow night. There's a bunch of warnings out. Yeah. Uh, when is this air? This air? I think this airs on Monday. So we, we will have seen it by then. Right. Um, but there's a bunch of warnings put out there of like, hey, man, be careful with the theaters. They're going to put a bunch of cops at the theaters and all that shit. So we'll see. You can't wear masks. Can't wear a clown mask. If you're doing that anyways, kill yourself. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you show up what, in a clown mask. If you mask, show up in a clown mask to see the Joker, I what are you talking about? I don't want to watch a movie through clown eye holes for two hours, um, but there's a lot of people who do. We had one on a Drinking Bros. That what? Painted, painted herself like a clown, you know? Okay, but that is a completely different situation. So clowns she's clowns. clown porn. What I'm talking about is dressing up in full character and mask mm-hmm. to go sit in a movie theater. Have you ever done it? No. 
Do you think that I would be talking like this if I was into it or thought it was anything that... Maybe at one point in your life. That's all I'm asking. What are you talking about? You've never dressed up to go to, go to a movie? No. Not like Rocky Horror Picture Show or anything like that? No. Okay. Just trying to figure out the person you are. I've done it once. Okay. Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. People are off camera. They already guessed it before I said it. <laughs> God damn right I went to Rambo. Did you? Dressed as Rambo. That's we so all cool. went. 12 Rambos. That's so awesome. Gay. 12 Rambos. Jesus. At Rambo. And it was. It's fun to stay at. The, and you guys were just like, YMCA. No, we were dressed like fucking ass kickers. Sure. We were dressed. All 12 of you yeah. boys. And you had your boy juice. And yeah. you were ready to party. We were we were there Gosh, for Gosh, I James. bet it was scary to people, huh? They didn't know if you guys were going to. The similarities are very, yeah, 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 yeah. very uh, mm-hmm. minute, I would say, between me and a, uh, hey, ooh. So hey. you and your other, a couple of your straight buddies, you got Chicks dressed. too. Chicks too? It was about fun. six and six in the mix, yeah. That's so fun. Everybody went as Rambo. Now, were you old enough to drink at this point? Yeah, I was like 28. 28? Yeah, whenever the last, what not this last thing. Rambo was, the Rambo before. So, yeah, yeah, I was old enough to drink. I was old enough to French, old enough to love. And we, 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 and did, we did the old enough to dress up like Rambo. We did the whole thing, yeah. Want. Yeah, that's so Face paint, fun. all of it. Uh, um, but I will say this the reason why we did it, we thought we would be the only ones in that movie. We thought the remake of Rambo would be sure. completely ridiculous. Right. And that we were going to get drunk and kind of make fun of it. And then we got caught in a world of magic. And uh-huh. we realized Rambo was the hero that we all needed at that time in our lives. And so what are you saying? There was other people uh, being... Half the theater was dressed as fucking Rambos. In Hollywood, which is rare. Like, Gosh. nobody really does that shit. You know, what it, you know what it was? It was at the Cinerama Dome, too. Like, they put it on the dome They should have put advisories on that bullshit. Come on. That, there's none of the Patriots in that audience. The Joker is going to be full of basements. Little dwellers popping out for that, you know? Keyboards. They might Nothing's have keyboards taped happen. to their chest. Nothing's going to happen. I don't think anything's going to happen either. No. Um, but, look, that's going to bring out the basement people. You know it. Yeah. Anybody who's thought about it or whatever is, uh, is going to be there. Has thought about what? Just doing weird shit in life. Mm-hmm. Keeping toenails, baby hair, things like that. Okay. W- wispy bags of baby hair. Okay. They will definitely be there. You don't think it's that type of movie? I think it is for sure, yeah. Because that's, that's kind of what some of these things are. Like, well, you can guess them going in where you're like, ah, if you're going to see a movie, I can tell you the crowd that's going to be there. So it's people just crawling out of their mom's basement yes. to go see it. Okay. I, I have a feeling you're going to smell some things you haven't smelled in a while. Uh, a lot of maybe some, some no showers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you might see a bunch of like screens. Lit up real quick. Texting spoilers, tweeting spoilers, things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the face looks like. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Man, I just want you to be prepared for that. Okay. I'm good. But. Just as long as I get those three marks for my wine glasses yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, the yeah, bracelet, yeah, yeah. I'll be good to go. I can watch pretty much anything. But you know what's playing next door? Hmm. The new Rambo. So next door, what next in the theater next door to the Joker? Okay, in the same movie cinema house. Sure, is Rambo. So if you want me to dress like Rambo and we go, we we double dips it. Let me know. Uh, yeah, I can do something else that night, and you can go by yourself <laughs> if that's what you're asking. Yeah, I could find some other plans. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't go full. No, I would not full go with, you. with me. Nope. Dressed up as Rambo? No. Nope. Hey. Ooh. What if I ordered the tickets from the movie chick like that? Hey, two for the Joker and two for Rambo. I mean, everyone everyone knows that you do what you want. I really have nothing, um, no control over that. So you you do you do what you want to do. It would be fun though. Mm -hmm. It would be fun just to bow it up. Sure, you know. Sure, just a little bit of face paint. Gosh, that could be something that you do with your kids. Yeah, for sure. 
I wish they but were But I am enough. not doing that. You can't take a five-year-old into Rambo. No. <laughs> People are going to look at you strange. Sure. Like, hey, and what, what are you going to say to the, the ticket guy, you know? Well, you're already dressed up. I need my five-year-old. So I, think... I need my five-year-old to see Rambo in the theater. <laughs> so he knows. He's never going to have this chance again. Stallone's going to be dead. I need him to see Rambo on the big screen. Right. Two, you know? You're going you're gonna to sit on my lap. It's probably too small to <laughs> lift his little head above the seats. He's going to sit on my lap. Father and son Rambo dime. I think that would be a nice thing for a, a father and his five-year-old to see nothing but bloody murder um, and Rambo. Because this is going to be the last one. You know that, right? I mean, I figure. But I also thought it was going to be the last Rolling Stones show. Yeah. That didn't happen. So I don't know. You know, you never know. Awesomeness keeps living. Mm-hmm. So. So we really don't know. Stallone's been taking steroids for, God damn it. 35 years at least. Oh, yeah. 80, 1980. Um, and he's outlived everyone. Yeah. Everybody else has died. All those wrestlers, all those. He's still alive and he looks great. Um, and then the Stones, obviously, have been going hard for 50 years at this point. Right. Still alive, still look great. There's certain people who just beat the system. And Stallone is one of them. Um, he's doing another movie as well, by the way. Hopping back on the train. He's really? 75, 76. Mm. Yeah. He's doing another fucking action movie. Um, no, it's a, it's a TV show. It's him and Dolph Lundgren. They're doing an action TV show. That's a brutal schedule for a one hour, by the way. For, uh, to be that age. And you guys want to see that? There's people no, out there that want to see that? I don't. I, I don't. Who is it? I don't. Who's the demographic? Probably the demographic that watches Hawaii Five O and Blue Bloods yeah. on a Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably that demo. Um, but him and uh, and Dolph are going to do a one hour, like a network series. Why at that age do that? Remember uh, Damon Wayans, right from mm -hmm. uh, Lethal Weapon when he was doing the TV show, and he kept saying that, "Hey, man, uh, doing a one hour action is just too much damage on my body." Yeah. Stallone is twenty years older than him. Yeah. So. It's brutal. Uh, he signed up for another TV show as well. Damon? Mm-hmm. He's doing one on ABC with, uh, this was two days ago. The guys who did, um, what was the Married with Whatever he did? It was on for like six or seven seasons. Married with Whatever? Married with Kids? No. No, nah, I was not married with children. I was an all-white family. Um, <laughs> that's why we should not have audience members in here. Um <laughs> She's on the right track, though. She's on the right track. Who's the guy that killed Nicole Simpson? Oh, that was uh, <laughs> Bill Cosby. Nope. Wrong My wife and kids? That's it. My wife and kids. So same creator. He's working with them. And then he, because he said the schedule is easier, which it is. Oh, yeah. To not do all that action. It's just in a studio. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a joke. No, Monday fine. through you're Thursday, fine. you just rehearse, do table reads, and then you shoot Thursday nights. Well, that's what he was trying to get out of Lethal Weapon to do. I know. So... But I'm surprised they let him back on TV to do that. Why? Um, what do you mean let him back on TV? I don't know. He was such an asshole during that whole Lethal Weapon but phase. But he wasn't painted as the asshole. Clayne was. Eh. I, I think so as it, far as ever, like the public perception or people that he's worked with before, But I think at wasn't. the end of it, because remember he quit? He was just like, I'm done with his show. And he quit like on that Swedish reporter show or whatever it mm -hmm. was. Like I thought that would have carried over, but no, sir. No, he's back and it's a big penalty attached to that script. So more than likely that thing is going to go, uh, which is insane to me. Um, want to bring up uh, the movie candies, Jabes. Want to see what you're getting tomorrow night. And okay. the reason why is uh, they just released a map of favorite movie candies from every single state. Oh boy! Here we go, Jabes. Hard hitting stuff. You're welcome for this. <laughs> Here we go. Because I don't agree with it. Oh. North Carolina, what do we get? What do you think we got here? As our favorite in movie candy? Swedish fish. Nope. Werther's Originals. That makes actually more sense. No, that does not make sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Why? We are a blue hair. We're we're full of blue hairs over here. You think so? Yeah, that go to the theater for sure. Come on. Yeah. Were there, we're not a Werther's state. I didn't even know they had them at the movie theater, to be honest with I you. I didn't know they existed. I'm going to look for them now. In any form other than my grandmother's glass And then the whole dish. movie, you're just yep. unwrapping uh, them? You Fun. unwrap one of those, 
It is like 80 elves <laughs> wrapping a, a present in the corner, and you're always looking over the seats of like who's got the fucking Werthers. Yep. Who stop? Well, un, I mean, you stop don't unwinding really it. have to stop ask, unwinding yeah. it. Yeah. You're know, like, go to. Can you go to the bathroom to open up your Werthers, please? Yeah. I want to hear. I can't hear anything. Okay. Next. Um, what is your fucking deal today? <laughs> Jesus, you got somewhere to be? No. Um, South Carolina black licorice. Nope. What is happening? Not a thing. This is fucking terrorist shit. No one gets black licorice. No, no, no. No one would say that was their favorite. At a movie. Georgia. Smarties. Eh, maybe. These aren't even things that happen. That's what I thought. Um, Ohio, though. Rocking the lemon heads. I'll go with that. I'll go with Ohio State. No. Yeah. Uh, Michigan. This is a weird one. Apparently, they take craft cheese slices into the movie theaters. So hush, dead serious. This is, what it is says. all fucking dumb and it's lies. This what is what fucking article is this? What, where are you getting this from? Um, eight shit. Walmart and Target. So they're, they, this is what they reported is is their highest selling candy per state. Oh, I thought it was movie theater. It is, okay. and when, what they take in because there, there was an article about people wanting to beat concessions and taking in oh, their own okay, candies. Okay. We used to do it as a kid. We didn't have that much money, so it was like we used to stop before. Load up and then sneak it in. Mm -hmm. um, we were the family, like you could hear the cans opening in the back, you know, and you were like, oh, shit, did you just open up a fucking can of tab back there? Yeah. Tab? Is that, yeah, whatever it was. Again, not a lot of money, James. I couldn't afford the fancy shit. <laughs> what is happening? Um, so you would hear that, and then later on the can would roll down the, the aisle because one of us kicked it. Uh, Dots is California. Oh, that actually makes sense because that was my favorite. Was it really? Yeah. And you're from California, so yeah. this is correct. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, Skittles is uh, Nevada. All right. Eh. All right. Dots is everywhere, man. Fuck, Dots is down in New Mexico, too. I would have said something else for that region. <laughs> what would you have said? I don't know. Orchata or something. Um... Churro candy? Churro candy. Some, something. Uh, a little uh, spicy mango? Chicklets, maybe. I don't, look, I don't know. Um, mango with chili? It's by region, and it's just it's weird to me. Black licorice is also in Texas. M&M's um, &Ms is pretty pre prevalent throughout like the Midwest. I understand that. Junior mints. There's even a junior mints in there. Looks like Wyoming. Mm. It's a cool town. Sure. You want a nice, cool refresher yeah. in a hot movie theater. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I, I get that. The Kraft cheese one's weird. And that's, that's kind of scraping the bottle of the, hey, kids, could you, could you grab the, the pack of Kraft? Very weird. Did you, did you grab that pack of Kraft? Very weird. We're going to hand out some cheese slices during the movies. Up north, you're looking at pixie sticks like in the northeast. Cool. A uh, bunch of crunch. What is happening? I don't know. What year was this made? I know. This is now. This just got released. Uh, juicy fruits. Huh. For Pennsylvania. Juicy fruit? Juicy fruits. I don't even know what... I'm looking at a picture of them. I, I know what these are. I just didn't know what the name for them was. So they got this picture here, Jabes, of the juicy fruits. I'll look at it. It's very defined. It's a very defined fruit candy. Sure. It's got ridges, uh, a lot of edges on it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, just These uh, will take a tooth out. Yes. They're the goddamn worst. So why are you sneaking those, those things in? Those are called juicy fruits. What about New Jersey? I, I was there for a while. Banana Laffy Taffy. I'll go there. Jersey is a taffy state. Sea salt candies. Taffy. <laughs> taffy by the shore. I'll go with the taffy Stupid. on that one. Stupid. Uh, I feel good today, Jabes. I feel real good. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm going to get in the sponsors. Temperature hot? No, that's you. You were juji fruits. Uh, juju fruits. Juji fruits. What's... Not juicy fruits. Juicy oh, fruit not... is the gum. Was it not? Uh... I really need to fact check you on this stuff. I'm sorry. Guys. Ah, juji, you're right. It looked like a little tiny eye, though. You All know? right. It's kind of weird how you're just one letter <laughs> off in this life, you know? Sure. From being excellent or just shit. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was absolutely shit on that one, and I apologize. I apologize to you, the <laughs> people at home. And everybody that's watching in Russia right now. Okay. We have a big Russian demographic. Yeah, uh, strange. Let's get to the first sponsor, shall we? We shall. Talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. 
36 month pay as you go program. We had a bunch of people email in after, after talking about that. And they were like, Hey man, that deal is crazy. We've, we've, we did it. And they apparently went in saying, Hey, I'm going to get this financing deal before they rip this thing. It has not been ripped in three years. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I think it's going to stay. I think it's permanent, but how can you afford to do that? It's amazing. If you're a company, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Like, I'm stoked. They're here for the people. They're not here for money. You know what I mean? They're one of those weird companies that are just here so that you have a comfortable night's sleep. Maybe not. And they sleep in a tent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't care. They want you to have a good night's sleep. So, yeah, they'll Maybe give they it to do. you for 40 bucks a month. That's No great. interest. I think it's 38 bucks. And now that I look at it, uh, that's amazing. Look, they got uh, mattresses, pillows, sheets, uh, finest Finest in the biz, in my opinion. Adjustable bases. So you can get that base plug in USB ports, flashlights, uh, flashlights. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. It's got a flashlight on the goddamn bed. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you said. Oh, Flash. You, you can, yeah, you can pop in a flashlight. Okay. They got USB ports. Cool. You can get that heated up real quick. Cool, cool. Uh, I've never had a, I've never owned a flashlight, but uh, that's good. You can pop a USB in it, you know. I, I'd imagine that thing would heat up probably two minutes. You know? Does it heat up? I think so. Get a little warm in the center. Does when it we get bought, warm? Yeah, when we bought that sex doll, it came with a USB port Dude. that went to a vagina. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. I All mean, right. I mean, I could go into further detail with that. You can pull it out as well. Okay. And you can pull out the vagina and wash it. So it goes right in the top drawer of the... This is no lie. It came with instructions. No, I know. I know that dishwasher um, part. So if you're at home, home alone with your flashlight, want to plug it in safely and have a, a better your, reach of the cord to your base. wiener. Yep. To, to your, your own adjustable base. Uh, go, to, go, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Man, they love it when I read them like this, don't they? Really get into it. Uh, next up, we got... Uh, Strikeforceenergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Strikeforce Energy is four amazing flavors. Grape, lemon, original, and orange. No carbs, no sugars, no problems. Uh, the official drink of Rambo. It's not true. It's not. <laughs> Rambo has no official drink, but blood. First blood. And he's also got a thirst for blood. I think that was the, la the name of the last one. Rambo thirst for blood um, or just drinks blood on the weekends. I'm not, I'm not, I'll double check it. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, get a strike force energy today. Get yourself uh, some fucking strike force, dude. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. You can pipe that, some. pop it right in the white claw. Get weird. Get weird with it. Last longer than five hour energy. They ship everywhere in the entire world and, and Jabe's. Yes. They offer a subscription of the month club, so you can just dial it in, boom, just get shipped to your house. You're good to go. You can fucking mainline it, do whatever you want. Uh, I recommend just drinking it, but uh, if you have an extra syringe and you want to inject it into your body, I think it's fine. Check with the Strike Force people first, though. I would, I would go to their website and see. See if you can inject it. See if you can a actually inject it. Uh, last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? There it is, James. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't Drink that off. Enough. Is that uh, mm. from Bespoke? Sure. Ah, uh, just lie. <laughs> Second day in a row. Just lie. <laughs> just lie. New coffee company right behind it. Is that uh, Whole Foods again? I don't like to promote other coffee companies. Oh, look at that. All right. I'll, I'll accept that. Black Sorry. Rifle only. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Good. Hey, we'll say their promo code while we're at it. Drinking Bros 20 at BlackRifleCoffee.com. Bunch of new teas and whatnot. It's straight razors. You can shave up your body like a real man. Go full fulcrum. <laughs> shave off neck to nuts. You know? <laughs> really enjoy the weekend. In this heat, you're going to want to shave every part of your body and orifice. Um, just to get rid of all of that is there's there's sweat there's things that stick in there you don't really need hair um and that's what straight razors pre presents <laughs> they present that option to you do they yeah. present the option present to the option to go full fulcrum and shave everything shaven. off yeah. nice yeah 
Uh, they got beard oils, mustache waxes, uh, conditioners, shampoos, finest straight razors in the business. If you're worried about using a straight razor on all parts of your body, you get a safety razor. Um, that's second to none. It's sharp as shit, though. I wouldn't use that on the old, uh, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. the old. Uh, <laughs> what part? Ball sack. Taint. Uh, you can taint it up. So you would recommend using it on the taint, yeah. but not the safety razor is good on a taint. I wouldn't straight razor that taint mm-hmm. um, unless you got a unless you're getting a brooch. You got somebody else doing it for you. Got it. You need a midget to get in there with a strong elbow, lift that junk up, and lift that junk up. Get it. Pop, pop, pop it up. Um, go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. You got a bottle of wine there. I do. Who's, who's that? I got it from my good friend, D'Anthony Holloway. See, he's nice. He's a natural born killer, but he's also nice. He's nice, but like I said on the last, he is, he is really nice. Hard he's candy shell. Very nice. Soft gooey center. Yeah. Just like the M&M's. Uh, it's just like 50 first dates, though. I don't know. I, me- I meet him. I meet him every day for the first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it today? Who knows? And today, it was a bottle of wine and a smile. And a, and a smile. Tomorrow, and it's gonna it could be, be a good uh, Hey, it could be a- uh, Machine gun and uh, sure. a bag of cocaine. Yep. We have and no then that's idea. the kind of day that would be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel good. I yeah. feel good about today. All right. And I'm going to drink that wine. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Two night. Yeah, you are. Because it's, we got a babysitter tomorrow night. We do. I'm going to drink both nights, but yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I drink every night. Proud of you. And I don't know. I think that's okay, right? Probably. I think it's okay well, it's, to drink every heart, single right? day. You're and every worried night. about yep. uh, your heart? It's red wine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I understand that. I think it's fine. I think it's fine, too. Uh, I want to hop into this Kardashian thing here. Please. Come on, man. Please. What's I have is it not Kylie had or enough. Kendall? I always get those two confused. That one's Kylie. The one that used to be ugly <clears throat> was Kylie. I'm sorry? The one that used to be real, uh, real, real ugly, that was the Kylie. And then Kendall has always been hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. N- none of them have been ugly. Well, it's, that's, I, why uh, don't you just go ahead and pop up a picture of Kylie pre-work done? Come just on. Just pop, pop, pop that up. You want to pre-work? Just pop. How, how old was she at that point? I think she started getting she work now? to 21, 20, maybe. I don't know. If she's 20, Jabe. She's something. You just called a child ugly. And that's on you. No, I said she used to be. But it's one of those things like um, like Tesla guy. Uh, Elon Musk? So it's like Musk, where his pictures from back in the day before he had money, he was bald and ugly. Mm. Was and he really? now... I'd say he's hot. He I'd say up. he's handsome. Yeah, he must. He, he must got up. hair. He got some stuff. So it's it just proves that there's no such thing as ugly. It's just poor. Anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can be. You can beat looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. With money, that's true. That's absolutely true. With the Kylie stitch, though, we talked about it before, and I'm gonna beat this into the ground to these dumb assholes out there. Travis Scott just uh, broke up with Kylie. Mm-hmm. They have a kid together. You do not leave the Kardashian pussy. You do not do it. That was your meal ticket, hombre. Um, and let's face it, last album was rad. I'm a big fan of Astro World. Kanye had a heavy influence on that. Who got him? Kanye, mm. Kim. Right. Now that you're leaving the fam, yeah. It here's it turns tragic real quick. Oh, Lamar that door Odom, closes. Yeah, uh, he's Lamar on Dancing Odom. with the Stars. Da- he's, so. he, and he's crying all the time. And he's like, I just want—I miss the Kardashian family. I want him back in in my life. Goddamn right you do. You bet you do. Uh, it's too late. Once you leave, it's like lost. You can't leave the island. You got to stay there and deal with all of the bullshit, take it, and then uh, enjoy being rich the rest of your life and just doing ridiculous shit. Chris Humphreys is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that fucking dummy? He disappeared. He might be dead. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Completely disappeared. He uh, went back to the NBA playing, you know, third string. Sure. And uh, was never heard from again after that. Yep. You don't leave that. Whatever they ask you to do, you do it. You know who the master of that was? That tight end who married Jessica Simpson. Oh. The guy was like a backup tight end. Mm-hmm. And he married Jessica Simpson, was just like retired. He was just like, I'm good on football. I'm now. good. I'm done with this shit. I am not leaving this meal ticket. I will be by her side 
everywhere. And every time he posts when she has to travel for shit, he's holding up all nine children in a mm-hmm. pool, happier than shit that he's married to Jessica Simpson. Same thing with the Kardashians. Don't pull this shit. Immediately after they broke up, she's back at the studio with Tyga. You know who made that call? Tyga. Why? He was with her three years before. And then was like, eh, I'm good. Probably going to cheat on her. Right. And then after that, he learned real quick, the second they broke up, that was the first call he made of like, hey. What's up? What's up? Girl. Girl? Yeah, you got a hey, new girl. kid? I'll watch the kid. Um, I just, when are you going to learn in, in that sitch is what I don't, I have a hard time with that. Yeah. You know, you don't, uh, you don't leave, even the mom. Somebody's trying to sneak in on the mom. She's had a, yeah, pretty steady boyfriend for a while. Who's that guy? Um, let's see. His name's Corey. He's a black guy. Uh, yeah. I guess I didn't have to. There you go. You know, for, I mean, that didn't have to let you know saying, that, but, yeah. but um, boyfriend. Chris Jenner, boyfriend. You should pop in like these weird internet noises. Remember that connection? Corey Gamble. Okay. He's a really he was a, like a security guy for them. All I right. don't think he's anything. Way to go. Other than that, but um. That's a great move. How younger, old is, younger uh, black dude. What's his uh, What's his stats? How, how How old is he? Um. Nobody knows that. Nobody would know. Oh no! No, not at all. Not at all. I think he just didn't. Uh, didn't well, when you said younger, how do you know he's younger? He just looks younger. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely younger. Uh, they talk about it all the time. They do. That he's like a younger guy. Right, but they never talk about his age or anything. No, not exactly. They actually don't talk about age at all on that show. To be completely honest. Really. Mm-mm. He's thirty-eight years old. Uh, found that in. Record time. I was on Image. Typed in uh, Corey Gamble so age into Google. I was on Image for Google. Came uh, came right up. Weird. <laughs> so images just so kept sh- coming up. She's sixty three, and he is thirty eight. That is twenty five years. Corey Gamble, you're playing the game correctly. Good job, buddy. You have won the world today, Corey Gamble. Although uh, on the last episode, he was talking about uh, beaten. Courtney's kids beating them said something like I would have whooped that a- whooped her ass if she did that to me blah 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 something like this mm. and it's been about three episodes of discussion well so look somebody's got to teach those kids maybe I know you know the Disney's not there no he he got all hissy yeah like a lady oh <laughs> he did was he pretty really? much handling it like a lady yeah, yeah. I cannot believe what do you he gonna, would say that I'm, I'm looking at this dude right now Powerful mm-hmm. black dude. What do you? What, do you sure. what, is, what is Disick gonna say to this guy? Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he. That's how he sounded when he was talking to him. I just can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> You're I like Disick. Believe it, hombre. Put your scarf on and get on out of the. You had a Chris Jenner's house. A 38 year old black man in his prime trying to teach your kids. Yeah. Believe it, Disick. Yep. Um, he will. That's what happens when he's not around. It's look. It says that. He, he was a talent manager. He was an agent. Okay. Um, and he's worth two and a half million on his own. Good for him, though. He recognizes she's worth a half, half a bill. And, oh. uh No, he went right to the top. Yeah. Was he the same age as all of the other girls? You bet. But he was like, no, no, no. I'm not going for you guys. I'm going to go for the mom. Yeah. I'm smart. She's the one pulling the strings you on You go this thing. right to the top. If he was a talent manager, I bet the two of them. Get along real nice. Yeah, they're fine. They've been dating for a while. So. Yeah, but uh, what, what I'm saying is that's what she does. So yes, I bet you they sit down and make some decisions together. You don't go, think everything is all a decision? Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's all or- orchestrated. But yes. that's a nice that's a nice little matchup there. But yeah, going after the mom that's a big boy move. Mm-hmm. Um, you go straight to the top. Yeah, that's really smart. Really, really smart. Still no Kanye album, by the way. Mm-hmm. Just uh, not getting that probably. We're not getting that. So what is the what's the news today? You're not getting it. No, I. You know, everybody's kind of just conceded. Like, hey man, he's just gonna do what he wants, and that's it. And you're just like, eh, all right. Uh, nobody's got a real answer. Um, however, somebody did publish 
uh, this kid, this, uh, this story kind of went viral. He published uh, an article um, that he went to the, the Sunday service in Detroit mm-hmm. and was like, you know, my roommates were going and I don't believe in any of this shit. Um, I think, yeah, yeah. It, it even says I'm a member of the Jewish faith. Um, and I found myself to be one of the least unusual attendees in this crowd. And he just said, he actually said it was just pure magic. It was like, I couldn't I, believe it. I, I don't doubt that it is. He's like, right? I, I could not believe it. And he goes, you know, he essentially said, look, I'm not that spiritual, but like that was amazing to see. So who knows, man? Who knows what to think about this? Maybe, maybe he does start his own church and shit. He is starting his own church. No, but I mean, for real. He is for real. Like, uh, for real, a church church. He is for real, a church church. I just still can't. I find okay, that. Okay, so you just can't. I can't believe it. Put your. Okay, so yeah, we talked about this before. We so did. So he is moving to Wyoming. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we talked about all of yeah, this. Yeah, and he is starting a church. But I still didn't believe that he was actually going to start a church. Like, okay, what did you think it was? I thought it might have been promotion for the new album. Oh, okay. And it was one of those like. It's a lot. Hey man, no, to well, buy all that land here's where I'm going with this. Open a church and yeah. A friend of mine was at a very massive celebrity's house, and has a lot of land, and he sent me a video of a church oh, yeah. that this guy had built on his property, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Holy shit!" Um, I don't know what they do with it yet. I didn't get the story, and it's one of those things where he was there, so I couldn't ask him and call him and be like, "Hey man." Why did this guy build a church on his property? Well, I saw the video. You did, yes. And uh, there was a bar in there. So <laughs> I think it's more of a like, a con- you know how you like convert firehouses into restaurants? So that's what that was. But Kanye's, and f- for, for everything we know, is an actual church. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, I thought it would be more of this sitch of like, Hey, this is a nice, fun thing to have on the property. And isn't like Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, like they restore old churches or they used to Mm -hmm. before, obviously before the breakup, the nasty divorce. Um, But they restored old churches and things like that. So I was like, ah, maybe they're just going to do that. But this might be a real thing. Fuck, that would be nuts. That's what I was talking about. But I, my whole theory was that it's a cult. Uh, Essentially, if the Kardashians and Kanye are telling people to come and worship with them, more likely they're going to get people worshiping them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he will be some kind of – it puts him – when you go down the uh, the cult, the three things that make a cult, right? Yeah. So it's like one – you have to have one charismatic leader. Right? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Kim and Kanye. Yeah. You no, follow I, what they I, do. I, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. So I think it, it's going to start as a church and it's very easily going to drop right into people's temple. Oof. Man. With really expensive clothes. Yeah. That's a great. It's kind of it's kind of magic. It's going to be a rich person's Jonestown. Yeah. And if you were, let's think about it. If you were like a rich millennial with like a trust fund, right? Why not? You went to Firefest. Yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't you go to fucking... Kanye's Just church. Kanye's cult. Yeah. That'd be, ah, be great. I mean, they're going to have to come up with another. It's, uh, I mean, a C, obviously, for cult. You know, it's too many Ks. It's starting to get dangerously close to something else. Kanye but, cult with a yeah. K. Yeah. 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 And, the, and the Kardashian. So if you're, were you going Kanye Kardashian cult? Um, yeah, but you would do cult with a K. No, you can't do that with a K. Why? That's three. That is no, not allowed. Oh, uh, yes, there you go. yes, yes, there yes, yes. Go. Got Can't it, do got that. it, got Cannot it, got do that. it, got it. So maybe uh, maybe a, been, uh, like a family. I think it's just Kanye's cult, by the way. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, they're moving out there, kind of going to be out there, but he, this is his deal. Kanye's family cult. KFC. There you go. KFC. I can just rename it KFC and then. and. Uh, I know. love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I want to talk about this, uh, this man, the, the conversation that I, I guess I did not have with you last night <laughs> at dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, so we talked about the uh, Amber Geiger, the, the Dallas yes. police officer who yes. broke into the wrong. Still so confused about it, but yeah. Um, shot 
uh, and killed a man. And, in uh, his own apartment that were, she walked into. Yes, and mm-hmm. they were sentencing, and the brother came in mm-hmm. and uh, spoke at the sentencing and said, I want to forgive her. I hope nothing bad happens to her. And uh, I, I think he was like, look, I, I don't even want you to go to jail. Uh, no, he said, I forgive you. If God loves you, I love you. And got up and gave her a hug. But he said, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Yeah, not, I don't want anything bad to happen to you in jail. I want this to be a, you know, a time to think about, you know, what you did and grow and change and come out on the other side. Yeah. Is what his mom said. He said, you know, he was basically just, I don't think he said he didn't want her to go to jail. Oh, really? Mm Mm-mm. I thought, I thought he did say that. Uh, either way, then he asked if he could hug her, right? Which that image went around the world and was yeah. amazing. Because she ended up getting 10 years um, in prison. And uh, I don't know. To me, I don't know. It seems, it seems fair. but That was the debate last she night. She won't serve all 10. And, you know, she's got time served and stuff like this. But That was the debate last night, whether 10 years would be f- is fair or and I don't have the answer for Only that. Only because you don't know. I don't know what happened. And I, I don't think anyone. But imagine if it's your child. Is 10 years enough? Um, no. Exactly. But I, I think when you ask that question, a lot of crazy stuff happens because of that exact feeling. A lot of crazy sentences. A lot of people being, you know, convicted that aren't you know, wrongfully convicted and stuff because the people that are having that emotion Mm -hmm. are the ones that are like behind everything. To have to sit through a trial and see, see it again and go through all of that again and all that stuff. Uh, there was a lot, there was a lot of people online last night that said 10 wasn't enough for that. I only say 10 because I really don't know what happened and I don't think anybody does. And so if you think about it, I always think about it like my, self you ever woken up from a dream and you're like oh my god thank god right right i think that that's kind of what happened i don't know i don't know i don't know what happened i don't know how you go get off on the wrong floor walk into the wrong apartment and shoot somebody that's in there i don't know how that happens she does yeah and she did it so i don't I don't know what the answer is. Do I think she's a cold-blooded murderer that can't be in society ever? No. So that's the question you have to ask is like, you know, even passion killings sometimes. It's like, do you think they're going to kill someone else? You have to ask yourself that question. You were telling me last night uh, that girl jails were were worse than men's jails. Yes. Um, Where's this info coming from? Jailbirds on Netflix. Okay. And everything I've watched about lockup. So girls have more to prove. Our emotions are way higher. Like uh, hormones are way crazier. And when we get fucked up as a, as a child, when women get fucked up as a child uh-huh. and are just in that system, the w- they, they just get harder than a guy. Okay. All right. From what I see, I mean, they're like. She would have to go into some sort of special sitch, right? They're not going to put her in gen pop, I would imagine. No, I don't think they do. I mean, if you're putting a cop in gen pop, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder how this all shakes out at the end of the day. Uh, she, she appears to be pretty young. So she'll get out at a decent age, you know? Yeah, and I mean, like I said, she's not going to serve all 10 years, and I don't know if they're going to appeal. I think for something like this, I would hope for myself, too, if I did something like that, Mm -hmm. I would need to be punished in some way. If I killed somebody, I don't think that I could... I mean, she has no kids or anything, so it's like, I don't think that I could get off and be okay, right? I think there must be part of her that's like, okay. Like, yeah, I did kill him. She admits to doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, she, she got on the stand when she didn't have to. And she went through every question and answered it pretty honestly. So and, uh, there must be part of her that's like, I'm, 
I'm going to take whatever uh-huh. punishment. And then when you do get out, you feel like I served my time and you can move on from there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, either way, uh, that, that story is over, but uh, I think that image will last forever. Yeah. Um, so uh, what is Mean Girls Day, by the way? Uh, that was trending all day long today. Today's Mean Girls Day. So in the movie Mean Girls, she asks the cute guy in front of her, uh-huh. what's the date? Yeah. And he says what? October 3rd. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Oof, that's a October long way to go 3rd. for Mean Girls Day. Yeah. That is a long Look, way to go. Basic bitches need a fucking reason to get out of bed. Otherwise, they'll just kill themselves. I, I'm tired of the days, how we're, uh, every day has a name to it now. A thing. Donut Day. We got, there was a Blumpkin. national podcast day. Blumpkin Day. We got tagged in a bunch of like national podcast days. Like, mm-hmm. hey, national podcast day. I was like, what? what? What is that? Who decided that? Who's deciding Donut Day? Pizza day. I don't know who decides it. I mean, uh, g- companies. <laughs> I guess you can just make up your own day, right? Yeah, you just grab a day. F- it's like sponsorship. You grab a day. Donut day, National Donut Day, and then Dunkin' Donuts can really just cash in. National Pumpkin Splice, then blah, 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 like yeah. uh, National There was another ice cream day. family, by the way, who made up their own holiday for their kids. Oh, and I what? Got, I, I get sent an article about it. What? It's called like Wolfen... Wolfen Day or something like that. A Wolfen Day. Yeah, and they were great. making making up. Uh, uh, our, one of our listeners. No, so we get we get tagged in it a bunch of times oh, on okay, Facebook, okay, and okay. I, I finally read it, and they were like, "Hey, man, not to not for nothing here, but this guy it it's sounds a little better than Pinecone Day." A little better. What happens? Yeah. Do, is it an actual holiday other um, than just trying to scare your kids? I'll, I'll look it up because we get tagged a bunch of times in it, and I was like, "All right." Uh, Type in, uh, type in the old fake holiday. Okay. Um, um, after that, I'm going to talk about a, a cruise crime. Oh, you got a crime corner? It is, but it wasn't sent. It's just Who mine. Who cares? It's just mine. Make it up, James. Make it up. <laughs> Boy. Um, the fake holiday, yeah, Wolfen. Oh, man. This Now we're down a fucking rabbit hole here. First thing that popped up. 10 fake holidays that were actually invented by brands. So these are corporate shits. Here we go. That's going on. Here we go. Um, National Pancake Day made up. IHOP. It appears so. Um, You have the brand that makes up the day? It is. It was IHOP. Okay. 2006. So you say it, I'll guess the brand. All right. National Rotisserie Chicken Day. Mm, Either Boston Market or KFC. Boston Market. Blamo. Uh, National International Coffee Day. I would say Starbucks. But interna- International Delight? All Japan Coffee Association. Oh. So. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yep. Right there. It's on the tip of my tongue. Small Business Saturday. I don't know. This is actually American Express. I'm surprised. They're oh, not a small yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Business. Uh, Cyber Monday. Um, Amazon. No, the National Retail Federation. I don't even know what that is. Cool. That was a, that was my second. Uh, record my store second. day. Come on, is that a thing? Was that a fucking thing? John Cusack. <laughs> it has to be right. <laughs> who who invented it? <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Record store billboard. Billboard uh, did that. Okay. They don't even sell records. Well, they did. At I mean, one point, right? Sure. I don't know. Well, National 7-Eleven Day, I mean, it's pretty easy to guess. <laughs> um, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, National drive Through Day. That's a, I'm a big fan of that one. Who do you got for that one? Oh, National drive Through Day. I mean, I would say McDonald's, but it might be Burger King. Ooh, Jack in the Box. It's where Affleck uh, went for his last meal before rehab. Perfect. Yeah. Makes sense. You get two tacos. You Ah. also get that sourdough jack. Sourdough jack and two tacos for sure. National underwear day. Come on. That's not a fucking thing. Hanes. Fruit of bloom. Um, Embrace your body image. Ugh. Come on, man. That's a company? No. That was their whole slogan. 
for it. Um, this is so uh, August 5th. Why is it August 5th? It's just the only day they could get because every day is taken at this a point. A retailer called Fresh Pear was the one who, who created oh, that. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, man, we're look, if we're doing it, we're doing it. I say give this, this family their holiday. Give them the Wolfen Day. Wolfen Day. It sounds very uh, cosplay, though. Who cares? Let them do it. Let them dress up like wolves hey, and attack look. each other. Well, we're going to have to see if there's a day for... If our day for Pinecone Day yeah, is December, available. It's December 16th, right? I think so. Yeah. 12th or 16th. Eh, we'll look it up. We'll look it That's up. the thing is every other year you, you alternate. You alternate days. <laughs> so I think it's, I think it's December, December 16th. Okay. So you have your own crime corner today? Well, it wasn't sent in, but I wanted to, I just. So do we give you the proper intro for it? Then? I don't know. That's the question. I you have to decide do. because. I think we do. It's not really a crime corner. I just. I saw, I saw a little cruise ship it, crime. It's a crime, though, right? It is a crime. Therefore, you get the intro. Crime Corner! Crime Corner! <laughs> crime Corner. All right. Elderly cruise passengers claim they were tricked into smuggling 20 pounds of cocaine. Huh. Tricked. Yeah. Um, so an elderly British couple has been accused of drug trafficking and facing up to 12 years in prison if convicted. Uh, they claim that a mysterious businessman, which is well, how everything there's a lot of them out legal there. happens, right? There is a lot of them out there. Well, you know, whenever, whenever a mysterious businessman comes up to you um, and asks you to take two suitcases into your room, you just do it. There's nothing, we you know what I mean? Nothing yeah. weird. Happens all the time. Roger and Sue Clark. Ah. Old British couple, very unassuming. How old were they? The perfect mules. Um, They say elderly. They're not saying, oh, 72 and 71. There you go. So these are uh, a British couple in their 70s. 20 pounds of Coke in your 70s. If you were to pick out the people on the cruise ship that were going to have the Coke, these two would be not even looked at. No. Right? Mm -mm. You'd I, go I, right to, who was the name Who was the name on ours? Oof. Something Timothy, person. Timothy person. Ricky, Ricky person. Yeah, whoever it was. Yeah. Um, so they were arrested last December. Uh, authorities alleged, uh, allegedly discovered... Uh, 20 pounds of cocaine hidden inside four travel cases in their cabin on a cruise ship to Lisbon, Portugal. And the couple claims that they were unaware of the drugs. According to them, a Jamaican businessman named Lee. Mm. That's a, that's Paid a pretty, for their cruises? That's a pretty stock standard Jamaican name. Lee. Lee. I met a lot of Lees in so Jamaica. So they claim that Lee paid yeah. for their cruise and just simply asked them to pick up an empty case ah. from a man there. Yeah. Okay. And they also claim that Lee asked them to purchase exotic fruit for him. <laughs> really? So he also needed some fruit. Yeah. There's only three things you can't bring back on a cruise. Sure. Animals, fruit, and drugs. And drugs. So he he, two out he of three. wanted two. Two out of three. Yeah. Um so they were completely unaware, right? Uh so but the the couple was previously convicted in 2010 for trafficking cannabis oh, they were. near Norway. So okay. I I love Roger and Sue. <laughs> they what? are my new favorite people. They are old British drug smugglers. Yeah. Unassuming. And they get away with it by going on cruise ships. With, and I love it. With 20 pounds of cocaina. I think they went, they got a little bit big for their britches. But I think that, you know... They tried. You go away for a long time for 20, That's 20 what pounds I mean. of cocaine. But you get comfortable. 72 years old. You get comfortable, right? You've, you've gotten away with it a couple times. You got yeah. a cruise out of it. You had some fun with, yeah. your, with your gal. Yeah. With your old gal. And I, I bet that older people love a cruise ship. I don't know that they love Coke. No, no, no. But they love a cruise ship, so you can get them to do things by buying their cruise tickets. I guess so. But All they have to do is meet up with Lee. Right? That's it. Oh. Bring some fruit. I, Bring man. a couple cases back. Now, here's the thing. We went on the cruise. When we came back um, onto the ship from our day, yeah. Mexico, yeah. 
they pretty much searched everything. So I was just, just kind of con- um, yeah. I mean, I guess they didn't look in my bag of like stuff that I got. Yeah, there w- was an w- X-ray. Was there, a con- oh, there was an X-ray. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's probably where they got popped. Then obviously, that was pretty dumb of them. Uh, they found it in their cabin. Re- oh, so they made it back to the cabin. Oh, dude, they were getting away with it. Were they chopping up rails? Is what I want to know. Um, apparently no, C- because according to them, they had no idea ah. there was drugs in there. All they knew is that they got their tickets bought by a, a, a mysterious Jamaican businessman. Namely. And that's all they knew. Named got Lee. It. Got it, got it, got it. How do you, you get popped with that? Was there a dog on the ship? Yeah, and you know, just like any other crime, I'm going to leave you with a lot of questions and not a lot of answers, no, we're right? Gonna get, we're going to get basically zero out of ju- you. <laughs> It's basically just... Um, you know, a little expansion of the <laughs> of the headline. Of the headline, sure. So I go with the headline first, and then they kind of just give you a couple more details, and that's about all I can do. Then you do tail for off you. at the and end of it. And then you yeah. guys have to kind of do your own. No, and I appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate and it's a that. fun thing for you guys. Yeah, because w- when you're in your seventies, you're already having trouble with your bowels, right? Therefore, if you were just peeling off rails of coke. You, Apparently, they don't do it. You would I be mean, shitting your brains yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I understand why they didn't do it. If they were doing it for the free cruise tickets, yeah, uh, man, that's about a $1,600 to a th- transaction then. Uh, according to authorities, Roger and Sue were living off about $1,100 a month, okay. but were somehow able to afford a sp- uh, to spend approximately 22000 Dollars on luxury cruises over a two-year period. Ah, there we go. So they've been they've been doing they've been muling oh, yes. it for a long time. Oh yes, they're mules. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, no, I told you they were already convicted. But you said for once. Drug- yeah, once. Well, they were convicted once, but what they found in their investigation is that somehow they're retired. Yeah. They're living on a fixed income of a. Of eleven hundred a month. Damn it! But somehow can go on twenty-two thousand dollars worth of cruises. Over two years, Sheesh. man. So they're uh, they're scheduled to appear in court in uh, Lisbon on Tuesday, where they are expected to deny, deny charges, obviously. Um, and if found guilty, they face up to twelve years. Okay, all right. Well, my best to Raj and Sue. Obviously, hope they I'd come love through. To fucking hang out with Raj. And love Sue. to love I'd to rage with to the two of those. Talk to them. Yeah, see what they're Gosh, all about. You guys. Is there a photo of these guys? Really did it? No. No, huh? No. Are they, they're white, obviously, with the names Roger and Sue. I would be white. think, yeah. 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 Uh, definitely white people. Yeah. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. It's going out to Will Smith, Jabe's. Whoa, why? Yeah. Um, he he is launching a clothing line, right? And you're like, oh, all right, okay, kind of makes sense. But, sure. Um, it is Fresh Prince. Inspired clothes. I P-R-I-N-T? can't remember. No, like the Fresh oh, Prince of Bel Air. He missed an opportunity there. Well, he might be able to pick it up because he just announced the clothing line. Not too late to go back and change that copyright. But Fresh Prince. It's all of the ninety shit he wore on the show. I can't remember an actor of a TV show going back thirty oh, it's years the later. Perfect and then, time for it, though. Is it? Oh yes. Is everybody wearing ninety shit? He is. Uh, he ha- yeah, and he has his finger on the pulse enough with those little uh, little dinglings that he has. Yeah, Jaden and uh, those little Slappy. free spirits, those little uh, kids that raised himself. Yes. So he really perfect time, perfect timing. Huh. As long as he doesn't put a lot of fresh prints like no it's, labels all over they're, it. They are stamps with it. I just so I'm the the commercials breezing by here in the background. It's all Bel Air. Like high school, it is all fresh print. The jacket, remember the jacket, the reversible jacket? That'll be a little bit novelty, but if he went a little bit more under the radar with it and just had like the label on the tag, oh, it would kill right now, dude. Gonna be honest with you. The sweatshirts and shit that he's wearing, because he's he did a full minute and a half commercial for these things. Okay. And that's it's on YouTube. And uh it's not terrible looking. It looks like any other college gear, but it's just it's stamped and it looks it looks uh, it looks decent. It doesn't look like it's Gil Dan, obviously, with okay. uh, you know giant stamp shit on there. So, eh, 
good for him, I guess. You know. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll coming sell back a thirty years later. Load, dude. That's crazy. It's just not. Yeah. I wonder what kind of deal because I think who is it? NBC Universal that owned that show. I wonder the kind of deal you have to work with somebody, work out with somebody for that. That's a big, big worldwide show that that plays yeah. over and over and over again. Uh, currently, like, yeah. 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 Man, they're bringing back everything. Fucking every. When is six coming back? You know. Oh, Blossom. Yeah. When is Blossom coming back? I'd be into it. Probably. You think six got taller? Uh, no. Okay. She's the exact same. Same uh, torso. Size. All right. The torso, at least, yeah, is the same size. All right, Jabe's feeling better. What? Cooler? A little bit cooler, yeah. I've Good. definitely cooled off. All right. Yeah. Proud of you. Thanks. We got your back at the end. Thanks Lost so much. Lost you at the beginning, got your back at the end. I don't really know what you're talking about, but For- I got a uh, hashtag Blumpkin Spice all over my Instagram. Good. So thank you for that. Uh, you created all that. Of- <laughs> that was your creation and no one else's, so. Pound sign, Blumpkin Spice. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.